Welcome to my channel. Today, we will be learning how chocolate is made from bean to bar. In this fun animated or real life tour, we will explore how cocoa beans are picked, processed, and turned into delicious chocolate. So grab your cocoa and let's get started. Step one, picking the cocoa beans. Did you know that cocoa beans grow on trees? In the wild, cacao trees can grow up to 20 feet tall, but in plantations, they are usually kept smaller. The tree starts producing beans when it is about six months old, but the first two years of harvest are considered immature and are not used for chocolate making. Each tree produces about 200 to 300 pods a year, and each pod contains 20 to 50 beans. The pods are harvested by hand, then carefully peeled open to remove the beans. Step two, fermentation. The beans are placed in heaps and covered with banana leaves or mats for six to eight days. During this time, the beans ferment and the outer shell starts to turn brown. This process develops the chocolate, flavor, and aroma. Skilled farmers will often taste the beans during fermentation to ensure they are developing properly. Step three, drying. After fermentation, the beans are spread out in the sun to dry. This can take anywhere from one to seven days, depending on the weather. The beans are turned regularly to ensure they dry evenly. Once they are completely dry, they are ready to be transported to the factory. Step four, processing at the factory. At the factory, the beans are cleaned and sorted. Any damaged or discolored beans are removed by hand. The good beans are then roasted to bring out their flavor and aroma even more. After roasting, the beans are cracked and the shells are removed. The nibs, which are the pieces of the beans left after cracking, are ground into a thick liquid called chocolate liquor. The chocolate liquor is then pressed to extract the cocoa butter. What is left behind is cocoa powder. The cocoa butter and cocoa powder can now be used to make chocolate. Different types of chocolate are made by adding different amounts of sugar, milk, and vanilla to the cocoa liquor or cocoa powder. Step five, conching and tempering. To make high quality chocolate, it must be conched. This is a process where the chocolate is continuously stirred for several hours to ensure an even distribution of sugar, fat, and moisture. The chocolate is then tempered which means it is heated and cooled in a specific way to make sure the cocoa butter crystallizes correctly. This makes the chocolate shiny and smooth. Step six, molding and packaging. The final step is molding the chocolate into different shapes and sizes. The chocolate is poured into molds and allowed to harden. The finished chocolate bars are then packaged and shipped to stores all around the world. And there you have it. Now you know how chocolate is made from bean to bar. Which step was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below.